We was on the bottom, yeah. Now we headed to the top. New level. On my level, don't see anybody. I don't see him. This right here could never stop. This could never stop. Hey, this right here could never stop. Hold up, nah, nah. Hey, this right here could never stop. Hold up, nah, nah. Hey, this right here could never stop. Hold up, nah, nah. Hey, this right here could never stop. Hold up, nah, nah. One time, one time. Hey. I live on a job, right? Yeah, I'm always at work, right? Real people stay by me, right? Haters wanna do hurt, right? No, they trying to stop me, right? Drag my name through dirt, right? I don't feed into the hate, right? I just answer with a smirk, facts. I feel so special, facts. I know my worth, facts. My bloodline royal, facts. We the kings of the earth, right? You can't stop this, nah, nah. You can't stop this, no way. Yo. Say your name again? Jeremy. Jeremy, right? So the people. Of Guatemala, right? Yeah, Guatemala. So, right? Yeah. Who called you Guatemala? Because believe it or not, we are here to show you, my brother, that you're not Guatemala, that you're from the tribe of Zebulon, according to the Bible. That's right. You are God's chosen people. Yeah. And we got to wake up to that because you got to stop yeah. calling yourself Guatemala, right? Yeah. I want you to see something. What's going on right here? How did our people get to that land of Guatemala? You know any history? No history? Slavery, rape, rob, murder. No, this way. Another question, right? I got another question for you, right? You believe in God, the Bible, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christo? No. Jesus Christo? Who is Jesus Christo? Is it him? This one, this one, this one, this right. What if we show you that, according to the Bible, that this is a lie? This is not Jesus Christo. Right. Jesus Christos, no blanco. A hey, Negro. That's right. No, yeah. no cause you when I ask you a question, Jeremy, you say that this is Jesus Christo's Blanco. Yeah, yeah, I know. But this is not in the Bible. Watch this. Read what you got. Watch this, Jeremy. Revelation chapter one and verse one. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Of who? Of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christo. Yeah. That's what we're reading about, right? The Holy Bible. Yeah, I know. Jesus Christo, right? Watch what the Bible say Jesus Christ looked like, Jesus Christos looked like, right? Read on. Verse 14, his head and his hairs were white like wool. Like what? Like wool. So Jesus Christos had the hair on his head and the hair on his face, yeah. white in color, woolly in texture. Yeah, uh, and so-called a, a blanco, right? Yeah. The hair, how the hair is? Straight or woolly? Straight. It's straight. Yeah. Read that part again. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Like wool, you ever seen a sheep? Like wool. Like wool, guess what? You see his hair? Yeah, I know. Like wool. Pelo crespo. Yeah. Say that again? Pelo crespo. Pelo crespo. Pelo crespo. And Blanco got what kind of hair? Yeah, I know. Straight hair. <laughs> so the Bible saying Jesus Christ got woolly hair. Yeah, I know. No Jesus Christos. That's right. Jesus Christo a Negro according to the Bible. Right? Read on. As white as snow. As what? As white as snow. Read on. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. His eyes was what? And his eyes were as a flame of fire. The whites of his eyes were red. But read on. Watch this part, Jeremy. Watch this part. And his feet. And his what? And his feet. And his what? And his feet. Now we're talking about his feet. Anybody got a penny? Any brother got a penny? What color is a penny? A penny. What color? Brown. Black, right? Read, watch this, Jeremy, watch this. His feet was what? Read that part again. And his feet like unto fine brass. Jesus Christo, his feet like fine brass. What color you say was a penny again? Black. So what color was Christ's feet, Jesus Christo? Black. And black. Right. No Blanco, this is a lie, they, they taught us, right? Yeah. So not only did they, read on, but watch this. And his feet like unto fine brass, as if they burn in a furnace. If, hey, Jeremy, one quick question, right? You got a, a Paquito English, right? Paquito. A little bit. Uh, right. Everything not understand, but a little bit. Right, 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 right. So if I burn anything, right, what color do it turn? If I burn something? What color it turn? Black. 
Black. So what color the Bible say Jesus Christo here? Black. Black. Jesus Christo is oh. no blanco. This is a lie that have been taught to our people. We got churches on almost every corner. When we ask our people in uh, Germany, what does Jesus Christo look like? They say blanco. But they never read that in the Bible. Let's get uh, Job chapter 30 and verse 30. So watch this, Jeremy. What I'm showing you, right? Not only was Jesus Christos a, a, a Negro, if Jesus Christo was a Negro, what color was his mother? Black. What color was his father? Black. Black. That's common sense. What's going on, my brother? Come on, Norman. We, we, we brothers, Norman. We out here to build with our people, right? Right. So what we showing with our people, Norman, right? You believe in the Bible, right? So according to the Bible, right? This is what we were going over with my brother Jeremy, right? And he 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 got he know a little bit of English, but he clearly understand that the Bible say Jesus Christ is a black man. But guess what? In our neighborhoods, right? We got a church on almost every corner. How do they say Christ look? They say Christ has hair like wool and skin like bronze. Think about this, uh, my brother, say your name again? Norman. Norman, think about this, right? The reason why I'm challenging that thought, because a lot of times when we ask, they'll say that, right? But yet it's still, when we, when we read it out of the Holy Bible, they'll say, guess what? Color don't matter. But why is it in the Bible? Because let me, yeah. want, want me to show you how, not only do we know it matter, but the so-called white man know it matter, because if they read in the Bible that Christ had woolly hair, but why did they give us this? Why would they do that if color don't matter? Because the history, and I'm going to tell you something, I'm 61 years old. Right. And the history that our people been taught. So eight and eight. Right. The history our people been taught in this country. Right. Has been a lot. Right. It's been a lot, right? And the Bible says. Right. This is what my preacher and my pastor has taught me. Right. Man's opinion often mislead you and me. Right. I go off the wood says that blessed Bible. Hold that what you got. Go back to uh, Acts chapter 5 and verse 29. Because what you're saying is correct, right? Because I don't know what your pastor teaching you, but believe it or not, and this is just reality, right? Because we are here to deal with the truth according to the word of God. A lot of these churches that set up, they're not teaching our people the truth. Right. right. You know how I know that? You know how I know that? Watch this, right? My brother came up. I asked him what was his race, right? He said he's from Guatemala. If you don't mind me asking you what is your race? I'm an African. You are African, right? Who told us, where are you from at in Africa? Because think about this, right? I'm not from Africa. My family's from Africa. Your family's from Africa. I was Africa. born and raised in the United States. This is where I was born at. Right. But they brainwashed us and told us we're African-American. Right. We're the only people that don't have a country. Right, all right. I want, I want to, uh, once again, I want to challenge that thought, Brother Norman, right? Because we know, History states this fact that we come from Africa, right? But think about this. Africa is a continent. It's over 50 different countries in Africa. Where are we from in Africa? Over 2,000 different languages. Where are we from? The people that's in America that was brought here as slaves, the people that was brought to Guatemala as slaves, where in Africa are we from? As far as I know, I'm only going to tell you from what I know. Right, right. And that's what from, we are here to from, deal with. From my history. I'm, I was born and raised in Youngstown, Ohio. Right. When I found out where my people was from, I went to Dublin, Georgia, where my mother was born. Right. The white man deleted out everything as far as my history of learning with my grandparents. Right. I had to go through Washington, D.C. to the archives to find out where my people was from. I traced it back to the slave plantation all the way back to where my family comes from, from Nigeria, Ghana, and Zimbabwe. Right. Now watch this. We're going to go, we, watch this, right? Because we know that the white man erased our history, right? Exactly. They cut us off from who we truly are, right? The language we spoke, the customs we kept, the food we eat, we was cut off from all of that, right? But get, believe it or not, we serve a wonderful God, a powerful God, right? right. Watch what God say concerning that, right? And it's all praise to the Most High that you're being honest. And you came up here to deal with your brother because guess what? We got some good news for you, bro. That's right. Watch this, what the Bible says. Acts 5 and 29. Acts chapter 5 and verse 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than men. We ought to do what? 
we ought to obey God rather than man. You know why I'm pulling this scripture? Because you said that earlier, right? You know why I'm pulling this? Because in our communities, we have failed to do that. We have, we have trusted and believed what man say and not what God say. And the Bible also states, don't put your trust in or faith right. in man. Right. Job every, chapter 8 and verse 8. by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the Lord. Right. So now, because believe it or not, while you're up here, what you're going to realize, we're not going to tell you our own words. Everything I say, I'm going to be able to go to the word of God and prove it to you. That's what I do. This is what the Christian pastor have failed to do. Believe it or not. Because guess what? In the Christian church, right, they'll say, God love everybody. We, our people will be dealing with situations, right? They come to the pastor. Pastor, this is what I'm dealing about. Just pray about it. God love you. No. That's not giving them an answer to what they're dealing with. But watch what God said concerning our history as a people. Read, Read what you got. Job chapter 8, verse 8. For inquire, I pray thee, of the former age. Of the who? Of the former age. Of the former age. Read on. And prepare thyself to the search of their father. To prepare ourselves for what? And prepare thyself to the search of their father. Guess what? In America, man teaches us that our history starts with slavery. Right? America teaches us that our heroes are Malcolm X, Martin Luther King. But guess what? Our fathers is in this Bible. Right. Jesus the Christ, which was a black man according to the Bible. Guess what? The greatest man to ever walk the face of the earth, guess what? That's your forefather. Paul is your forefather. Right. Jeremiah, Ezekiel. Right. Right. The people we read about in this Bible is our forefather. And guess what? We're going to prove it today with the word of God. Question for you, right? What, what's, what's going on right here, Brother Norman? Slavery. Slavery, right? Who did this happen to, Brother Norman? The black folks. The black folks, right? The people that say that they African American, they say that they Jamaican, they Haitian, yeah, um, Amy, African, the Cubans, right? Leviticus chapter 11 and verse 7, then give me Deuteronomy 1 and 1, because I want to deal with the point that you say that I'm African, right? What I want to show you with the word of God, I want to get that thought out of your mind, because believe it or not, we are not African, bro. Right. Exodus chapter 11, verse 7, but against any of the children of Israel. Against who? Against any of the children of Israel. Because who are the children of Israel in the Bible, Brother Norman? The descendants of God's people. God's people, but guess what? I want you to take a look at this sign, my brother. Believe it or not, the so-called blacks in America, they are God's people. The so-called Jamaicans, they are God's people. Right. The so-called Guatemalans, they are God's people. Right. But we've been lied to. And we're gonna prove it before you leave, Norman. Patrick, you think God loves everybody? You think that? I want you to stick around for me because remember I said that earlier. In the church, man says God loves everybody. But at the end of the day, we gotta go in the Bible and see if that's actually in the Bible. And what's your name, my brother? Patrick. I want you to stick around. So watch this, Patrick. In the Bible, you ever read, you read the Bible before, right? Who is God's people? What are the names of God's people? Say, I'm gonna ask you, I'm gonna come back. Brother Norman, what are the names of God's people? Abraham, Isaac, uh, Job, yeah, yeah, yeah. all of those people. Read that part again, watch this. But against any of the children of Israel. Against who? Against any of the children of Israel. Guess what? The lineage come from Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. Jacob had 12 sons, which we descend from. And they make up the 12 tribes of Israel. Right. Right? Because what was Jacob's name changed to? I gotta try to go to work, man. All right, I got you. Genesis 32 and verse 26. So what we doing with you, brother Norman, right? We walking you through history. And it's gonna tie all back into proving that we are these people in the Bible that we're reading about. Watch this, brother Norman. And believe it or not, we gotta ask ourselves, brother Norman, how come the pastor never showed us this? Bring it up. What is the problem? Bring it up. Because if we still, as a people, we still calling ourselves, I'm African, I'm black, I'm Jamaican, but it's a church on almost every corner in the neighborhood. Don't you see something wrong with that? Watch this, bro. That's why the Bible say we got to obey God rather than man. What's going on, my brother? Sean wants to know how you can stop smoking cigarettes. Come on, my brother, because guess what? You, hey, guess what? What's your, what's your name, bro? Yeah, you in the right place, Sean, because guess what? You looking at a brother that used to smoke. Yeah, he just told me. Every day, right? Yeah. 
maybe not cigarettes, but weed, which goes into the same thing, right? We, that's, we poison in our body. And we're gonna show you the steps on how to stop that. Just be patient with me, because right now, we're going over history, right? Let me just share something. Go ahead. When I was like 16, 17, 19 years old, I served in the United States Marine Corps. I ran track for the Marine Corps. I smoked a pack of cigarettes a day. I'm 61 years old, been a professional boxer. I don't smoke it all today, and you know why? Because when I ran track for the Marine Corps, I had a heat stroke and passed out. Coughed up something looked like a hunk of coal. Yeah, and that's the time. That was the nicotine that came out. Me. Not, now, Brother Norman, right? All praises to the Most High you was able to get rid of that. That's a good, that's a beautiful thing. Because believe it or not, that's a stronghold in our community. A lot of our people feel like they can't go without smoking. And this is a prime example of Brother telling you he used to smoke. That's, that's the key. It's the mindset. So before we get to that topic, right, I got a question for you. What is your race? Because we're going over history right now. I honestly can't tell you, man. You see what I'm saying, Brother Norman? Yeah. This is a problem in our community, right? Because guess what? We truly don't know who we are. Come take a look at this sign, my brother, Sean. You see, this is why we're going over this, Brother Norman. This is important to our people, right? Because in order to know where you're going, you got to know where you came from, right? Exactly. So that's what we're dealing with now. Where we came from, who are we as a people, and how do we change the condition that we are in as a people, right? You see yourself on this sign, Brother Sean? Judah. Judah, right? A so-called American black, right? Because guess what? The names you see on this side, who taught us that, Brother Norman? Man. No, the names you see on this side. Man taught us that, but what did the Bible say? We got to obey God rather than man, right? So according to the word of God, you're not no African American, bro. Right. You are from the tribe of Judah, according to the Bible. That's right. Now we're going to prove that. Now I want you to walk with me, brother Sean. We're dealing with the covenant that was made to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, right? Yeah. That was the chosen yeah. bloodline that yeah. the Lord was dealing with, right? Yeah. Now watch this about Jacob. Read what you got. Genesis chapter 32 and verse 28. And he said, thy name shall be called no more Jacob. But Israel. But who? But Israel. So the Lord, the Most High God changed Jacob's name to Israel, right? So let's find out what does that name mean, right? Because that name, name have meaning behind it, right? Because guess what? African American mean what? You are still a slave. Jamaican mean what? You are still a slave. But let's find out the name that God gave us. What does that name truly mean? Read that again. And he said, Thy name shall be called no more Jacob, but Israel. For as a prince hast thou power with God. Wait, what? For as a prince hast thou power with God. So the name Israel has a meaning behind it. A prince that has power with God. Because guess what? As God's chosen people, we have a direct connection to the Heavenly Father. Right. But guess what? The reason why it's so easy for a black man to get gunned down in America, because guess what? We have disconnected from our power, right? So let, now we're dealing with that chosen seed, right? Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Jacob name would change to Israel, Israel, 12 sons. And those 12 sons make up the 12 tribes of Israel, which are so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians. Now we're gonna prove how do we know that? Because that should be the next question, right? right? How do we know that according to the word of God? God also said, how can we come together unless we agree? Brother Sean, that's correct. Brother Sean. Yes, sir. What's going on right here? A whole bunch of slavery. Who, who did that happen to? Us. Who yeah. is us? So-called black people, right? Yep. Now watch this, Brother Norman, because you made another key point. And I'm going to deal with that later, but now we're going to deal with the history part. I need you to pay close attention, though, uh, Norman. Read that what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Moses was speaking to who? Unto all Israel. What do you know about Moses, Brother Norman? Moses, as far as I know, he led the people to the promised land. What people? God's people. Who are God's people? Judah. Judah. So the history that you know, right? Mm -hmm. Moses led God's people, the children of Israel, out of Egypt, right? right. What was they doing in Egypt? What is another word for bondage? Slaves. They were slaves. You see the correlation? Mm -hmm. So 
When they came out of Egypt, watch what Moses said to them. Read what you got. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Unto who? Unto all Israel. No, the whole world. Unto all Israel. Yeah. Going back into the statement that the brother said he walked off, he didn't get the answer. That God loved everybody. Who was Moses talking to when they came out of Egypt? Unto all Israel. Not all people. Right. All Israel. Right. So now let's find out what Moses told the people before they were supposed to go in the promised land, like you said, right? First chapter 28. Now we're going over a couple of chapters. Who was Moses speaking to, Brother Norman? He's speaking to God's chosen people. What was the name? Because the name, the name mean, got a meaning behind it, right? I'm trying to remember. Go back, one and one. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Unto who? Unto all Israel. The reason why I keep driving that point home, I want you to stay focused with me. The Lord was dealing with who, oh, brother son, who was Moses was speaking to? Us, Israel. All Israel. Keep that in mind. You hear that, my brother? Because guess what? Believe it or not, in this society, man told us that that's not my brother. He speaks Spanish, they are different people. But guess what? That ain't what God say. God say, we are the 12 tribes of Israel, the so-called blacks, the so-called Hispanics, right. and the so-called Native American Indians. Right. That's our brother right there. That's right. Believe it or not. Now let's find out what Moses told the children of Israel when they came out of Egypt. Before they went into the promised land. Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. That all these what? That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake you. So just it, so I know you're paying attention, right? Why would Moses tell them that curse will come upon them for what reason? You agree with that? Read that again. But it shall come to pass if thou will not hearken. If thou will what? If thou will not hearken. So this is Moses dealing with our ancestors, the children of Israel. If y'all will not hearken, meaning if y'all don't listen to God's word, unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments. To listen to God's voice to do what? To do all his commandments. To do all his commandments. Read on. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these persons shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So if we didn't listen to God's commandments, right? What would happen to us? That all these persons shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So notice something, right? We're dealing with history, right? Yeah. This is Moses prophesying to them telling them listen if y'all don't keep god's commandments in the future curses will come upon y'all as a people right is a curse a good thing or a bad thing it's a bad thing right verse 46 now watch this about these curses that will come upon the children of israel verse 46 verse 46 and they shall be upon thee for a sign and what shall be upon thee for a sign and they the curses will be upon the children of israel for a sign, letting us know how will we be able to identify the children of Israel in the last days. What does a sign do, Brother Norman? A sign gets your attention. It makes you aware. Okay. What does a sign do, Brother Sean? A sign. What is the purpose of a sign? You. To guide you to what Lord To guide you, right? Yes. To guide you, right? Like if I was looking for a family dollar, right? Let's say I wasn't from this area. How will I know that that's a family dollar? By a sign. By that sign that say family dollar. Read that part again. And they, and they, the curses, shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. Upon thy seed for what? Forever. So how will we know who are the children of Israel, right? When you look at slavery, right? Who did that happen to once again? Everybody, can you turn it down a little bit? I can hear it in my living room. Okay. We got you. We got you. Thank you. So, so who did who did this happen to? The so-called African American people, right? Would you agree with that, Brother Sean? It happened to everybody. Who is everybody? All the other tribes. What other tribes? Like, cause we, remember, the words that we speak, we gotta be clear so there's no confusion. No, no, no confusion. It was us, Chinese, Spanish, like everybody. No, right? no. We're gonna prove that because a lot of times we have that thought. Cause remember. We got to ask ourselves, who taught us that? Because the Bible don't say that. It goes back to, once again, we got to obey God rather than man. Right. That's what we have fell off as a people. 
We listen to everything and what man say and we run with it. But the Lord never said that. So now we're dealing with, because when they came out of Egypt, who was Moses speaking to? Was he speaking to the Chinese? So that proves the thought that you had it that's wrong. The Lord said the curse will happen to who? Israel, not the Chinese man. Right. Right? We got to understand that. The Lord was only dealing with Israel. So Hello, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission, minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.